Yeah, here we go. I'm working with some volumetric materials. To make some nebulas. <clears throat> So I'll listen to you talk, but I'm going to put my mic up on the heat. Yeah, all good. But <clears throat> basically, it's a texture that <clears throat> <clears throat> that the real world 3D coordinates of wherever the pixel is being rendered has an impact on what is rendered. And there's like a 3D noise pattern that I've made under there. So now I'm kind of like putting that together with with a particle system, which lets me make these volumetric nebula slash smoke clouds in whatever colors I want. And I'm trying to get that part right. So I don't think this is right. But yeah, this is like the furthest I've gotten with this so far. It's it's actually kind of a real challenge to figure out. But I basically so have, is that going to be like your yeah. attack animation kind of deal, or like what is this? No, no, no I'll show you. Um, it's so it's just for basically making a skybox <clears throat> or a piece that makes to make like a high quality like space skybox. Um, and hang on okay there that's what that looks like this is what this looks like after i add the negative that's maybe a bit much well let's just, let's just take a look um this is probably gonna just go back to the original one but Uh, but this is a texture, and like the idea here is, as soon as this loads, is this is a 3D noise that takes in the <clears throat> world position of the pixel that's being rendered for the texture, and then I'm doing like a distortion on the world position, which makes it have these kind of like perturbations, but um, the end result is that it can make these little 3D clouds basically that have like pretty decent performance actually and so that could become like a part of a space scene like if you have some stars in the background you could have one of these you could take this and move it around and you can fly around it But yeah, I'm just trying to get this fucking uh, material and particle system working together correctly. <coughs> so I'm going to get rid of this one. Plug this back in. A lot of this is experimental, like spaghetti uh, code that I use to just like figure stuff out. I've been kind of playing with it today, um, but it's actually getting close to what, to something that I might actually be able to use. So what I would do is I would take this um, particle system that I made here 
and I would make an I would make a blueprint class that would like randomly generate a few of these and then put them together in different shapes randomly. And at that point, you can like I don't have to manually configure it anymore. I just enter in a few colors and some like seed information into the um, particle system itself or into the, the nebula object and it would just generate me a random nebula. Um, Yeah, so it's what's neat about it is it is a um, it's like a 3D like it's like pseudo 3D. It's not really 3D. It's actually a bunch of billboards that are um, just always facing the camera, but because of the way the texture, the material that goes on them works, there's like a there's a 3D structure described in this material that gets rendered out. Um, let's see, so I wanted to, so now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some negative emissivity, um, which is like the, the color that it generates. And I think I could do that maybe, um, subtract move this here and then make this a zero. So we subtract this value from zero guaranteeing that the values will be negative. And then just add those negative values with our existing values, plug them in here. Cause like when you look at actual pictures of nebula, part of what makes them like stand out is that like parts of them are dark and they like occlude um the light in the background so i want like some darkness in it as well as light colors um i can't tell is that all your lights turned into blues yeah so I'm altering the, the color of the output here by subtracting this value from it. So anything that doesn't put it negative would actually change the color itself, which isn't bad. So what if I, what if I made this like really dark? Like if I multiply this by 10 before I add it, in this case adding is a subtract. Can like Diablo 4? Because it's a, uh, yeah, it's a, I think the closed beta went out or something. Um, I saw people playing really? it. Yeah, I, I, I looked at it and like, okay, you can't judge a book by its cover. But honestly, it, it looked kind of lame. <laughs> at least the first uh, little part. Gonna, I'm going to go watch his stream really quick. Not to just like bail what you're telling yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Let's go see how lame this looks. Um... Those look like they would be super sick, like attack animations for like a sword or. Yeah, you, you could know, use this for other checker. things. You could you, you could definitely use the same concept for other things. Hundred oh, percent. I was right. Off of first glance, I was a hundred percent right on what this was going to be. What? Diablo three with new graphics. Yeah, but like I wasn't even really that impressed with the new graphics. Was the thing I was like, well. Uh, but you know, whatever. Okay, so this isn't working. I might have to, what if I do this, point, add a negative point three, and just bring everything down by point three and see what happens there. And then the other option that I have is to actually change the material type itself to a non-luminescent material. <clears throat> material. Uh, if they could make this like an MMO style where you could just run around and like fight people and shit, that would be cool. 
Yeah, I don't... I'm not... I'm not 100% sold on it. I, uh... I haven't no, really... I wouldn't play D3. I would just do it for free. Why would I spend money to do that? Yeah, I haven't really seen anything that, um... That makes it stand out. But I haven't looked very far, like, oh. ahead in the gameplay. But... We have a gigantic skill tree! Well, that's, you know, always good. Okay! A huge skill tree! Nice! Looks an awful lot like PRE skill tree. <laughs> this guy. Alright, now let's take a look at what top level material options I can change here. Translucent. Additive. Save it with additive and just go take a look. I guess it doesn't need to be two sided either. If I'm using it the way I'm using it now, it needed to be two sided the way I was initially testing it. Do you have a loud negative emissive? Hey, good point, dude. Good point. A loud negative. There it is. That's why. So emissive color is like it gives off light. And there's a setting that I didn't have toggled. Somebody in chat suggested it. Okay, now it's fucked because it's actually properly showing the negative. So let's just plug this right back in here. Save it. Oh my god, look at the look at the inventory in the skin. It's deep, dude, it's deep. Look at the chat! It's literally all D3, and then they were like, well, what makes PoE better than our games? And they were like, well, the skill tree, probably. And they were like, well, cool, here you go, copy paste. Crip should love this with all the copy pasta. Ooh. I don't know. Here's my other thing, though, is I've played every single other one through the story the whole way. Like, Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to play it. I just don't... I, mean, I haven't seen anything that makes me think that it's going to be, like, super amazing. <coughs> um, my thing is, dude, I don't even know if I'm going to play it, like, early. I might wait for this shit to, like, go on site. <laughs> Yeah, I've been just doing this today. I've been having fun with it. Oh, yeah, there's some negative emissivity. A little bit too much. A little bit too much. It does kind of look like Lost Ark a little bit. Hmm. Well, I'm 
I'm done eating. Alright. And I'm not horribly impressed with what I'm watching. So I might go burn a quick bowl that would probably be down to play because... Yeah, I'm done to play. I would rather just watch Crip play Hearthstone again. Or <laughs> PoE, because that's what he's Well, one thing at. that I Hearthstone really... I, I actually really like watching, like, magic streamers and stuff, because it's it's kind of like a game show also in the same way, in that you can kind of play along in your head with games like that. And that adds to the um, entertainment factor. I just feel like, I feel like I'm learning and, like, figuring out new strategies. And, like, shit that I'm not smart enough to do about my fucking self. Yeah. Like, I was trying to explain it to this guy I work with today. He's like, dude, like, you're really good tech. And I'm like, yeah, you, but I'm not. Like, I'm not a tech, bro. Like, I'm a parts changer. Like, I'm really good at changing parts quickly. <laughs> I'm really good at running wires. I'm really good at not making mistakes and, make, like, being methodical. I'm not good at working on cars in the sense that, like, a technician is. Like, you know, same, same here. Yeah, I'm going to burn one, too. <clears throat> Although, I am, like, pretty decent at working on cars at this point. Just, like, as a whole. Yeah. Anything long enough, you just start getting it eventually. Mastery is 10,000 hours, supposedly. Yeah, which is why I still suck at WoW. I don't know. I've definitely got 10,000 hours in WoW. I don't think I do. I've got... I had, like, over a year. Um... Of playtime? Yeah, I do too. How many hours is that? Here. Well, a lot. Probably way more. 365 yeah. times 24. More than a thousand. Calculator. 360, 364? Yeah. yeah. Times 24. Nope, it's 8,736 for a. Of course, but like I said, I have over a year by like large margin. <laughs> I don't think I do, to be honest with you. Yeah. I've played a lot. I've played it a lot, but, like, I've also been working in the past, like, ten years of my life away. So there is also that. How did you get Diablo? How do I not have this fucking game, but I have all of your other games? Huh? Blizzard, you guys piss me the fuck off sometimes. How did I not get invited to the fucking beta? I think you had to sign up as closed beta. Pre-purchase and play now. You guys are gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. That's how they get you. That, that's how they get you. <coughs> I mean, that's now like... You know. That's like Blizzard's MO, though, is like literally just like, here's your hamster wheel, fucking go, go, go. Ooh, I like that. That's a nice one. Where are we playing? Um... You were saying you wanted to do some arena. I can hop in for that, or we can do Diablo. Whatever. Hey, this is a good. I'm gonna go burn. I'll just get on whatever game you're on when I get back. All right. Hmm. All right, I think this is a good stopping point for this anyway. I made a lot of progress today. I got, I went from having nothing to having this thing.
All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to go play some games. Later.